everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new my name is Haley and I am doing my first requested video um, today so thank you so much to you guys who commented on my beautiful jewelry box as someone said um, behind me yes I love her she's from the container store so just first and foremost my jewelry storage container store. A few of you commented and said that you were really interested in seeing a jewelry collection. So I am really into watching these lately too, just to get ideas on where to buy things. And um, I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I actually buy most of my jewelry from Etsy. And I feel like we are like totally saturated with kind of overpriced jewelry brands on YouTube. I'm not saying that they're not like worth the price, but in my opinion, um, places like Lily Class, which I do have a Lily Class thing in here I'm wearing right now, and Majuri, just places like that, they are a little bit expensive and you can find the same things for cheaper. You just have to look and Etsy is like such a good place to find that. So I'm excited to start talking to you guys about some of these products. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with necklaces and I'm going to start with what I am wearing right now. So the only like youtube -y type brand that i'm wearing is this necklace right here so this is the reggie thick from lily clasp and i have it in the 15 and a half inch um length and i think it retails for 50 dollars and i do really like it i think it is so beautiful i love the way it lays i actually got it because julia havens talked about lily clasp and i'm obsessed with julia and hunter so I went ahead and purchased it myself. So yeah, although it is totally beautiful and I love it, I also have seen the same exact thing on Etsy for way cheaper. And this is gold plated, which if you didn't know, gold plated is like a thin layer of gold, whereas most of the rest of my necklaces that you'll see are gold filled, which is a much thicker layer of gold. So it's a lot more substantial. It'll like take a lot longer to tarnish so it's just an overall better investment to buy gold filled because it's just not that much more expensive but it's like definitely better definitely purchase gold filled if it's an option um, instead of gold plated but I do have this lily clasp necklace and I like it um, but if I were to go back I would probably just go ahead and purchase one off of Etsy okay so now moving on in my row of jewelry i have this little necklace with a kind of like an old gothic print font font um in and in is for my boyfriend my boyfriend's name is nakia so that is what the ends for obviously my name's Haley, so it's not for me but it is super cute and i really like it so i actually caught this on sale I, this retails for 89 dollars. it is gold filled which like i said really holds up well but if you do catch it on sale you can get it for a really good deal i ended up catching it on sale like super sale for some reason and it was only 39 dollars when i bought it so Keep an eye out on these Etsy shops. They run deals like all the time. I don't know why, but they do, especially if you bundle and buy multiple things from them. So this is from JWL Gang. Not sure what that's, uh, what that means, but it says that they're having a graduation 60% off sale right now. So keep that in mind. You could get it for 60% off right now. So that's probably about how much I got off on this. And they also have like name plates, different stuff like that that are super cute but yeah i got it on a box chain which i love i just think it's really sleek and it, it's really reflective kind of like the like snake herringbone chain look too so i really really like the style of chain that it's on as well so this necklace right here you can't really see it obviously right now but it is a really small pendant it has two pendants on it it is a virgin mary and a little cross on it and it's on kind of just like a normal chain this is also gold filled and also from etsy once again, Etsy's that girl, okay? So this is from Simple Dainty Jewelry. I got it with two pendants, so you can get it with one pendant, so you can get it with just the cross or just the Virgin Mary, or you can do both. And when I got it with both, it was $54. So honestly, pretty good, again, for gold filled, and it has a two inch extender on it so i forgot to mention this one is i believe 16 inches and then this cross one is 16 inches but it has a two inch extender so i always extend it all the way so that i can have this nice 
little layered look going on okay so really quickly before jumping into my last etsy shop for necklaces i want to show one more necklace um this one is like a simple curb <laughs> oops it's like a simple curb chain and it's a little bit shorter i think it's about 15 16 inches one thing that i do struggle with is i always buy 15 or 16 inch necklaces and then i'm like i can't layer them properly it's like girl buy a 20 inch necklace for once okay Anyways, so this is a 15 to 16 inch curb chain and I actually cut it to 15 to 16 inches and funny story, I got this at Ross. It was a really, really long chain with a giant cross on it. It was a men's necklace and I asked the lady, I was like, are these gold plated or gold filled? And she was like, oh no, but they don't tarnish. And I was like, mm, I don't know if I believe that, but it was like 12 bucks. So I went ahead and bought, and bought it and cut it. And I've had this for like six months and I wore it like every single day until a couple weeks ago when I got this necklace um, and it never ever tarnished. So definitely check out your local Ross or TJ Maxx in their jewelry section. I don't know if the stuff is or isn't gold filled, but it's cheap and they say it doesn't tarnish and honestly it doesn't tarnish. So it's kind of worth it if you ask me. But yeah, so this one's super cute. It was really easy to just cut and wear just like that. Okay, so the last necklace I have is actually a Figaro chain and this is a 16 inch Figaro chain. Um, I actually really, really, really like it layered with this herringbone necklace. I think even though they overlap, they just work really well together, but it is a very, very skinny Figaro chain, which I'm sure you can tell, but it reflects light beautifully. It is gold filled from the Etsy shop House of Monogram. This is so, so beautiful. And actually when I got it in the mail, I didn't realize how thin it would be. So I wasn't like super sure how much I liked it. But then once I layered it with this herringbone necklace, I was like, oh, this is perfect. It reflects so, so beautifully off of a tan. And oh my gosh, I'm just like really obsessed with it and I'm really glad that I got it and I didn't go with like a thicker chain because I was thinking about a thicker chain. But honestly, I think I'm just a little bit of a, a daintier necklace type of gal because I like to layer them a lot. So I would say lean on the side of thinner chains unless you just know that you want that statement. I feel like little dainty necklaces just layer so much more beautifully. This Etsy seller sells for such good prices and this is gold filled like i said it is really thin so obviously there's not a lot of gold fill that has to be done but it was only 15 dollars so i feel like they have really really good deals and it's probably just because they sell a lot and they are able to make that deal so really quick also from that same seller i have two bracelets so here they are they're just really dainty and small so one of them is a curb chain and one is a figaro chain exactly like the necklace and these are really really cute and dainty and i'm obsessed with them i am going to have to go and get them resized and that's not the seller's fault i measured my wrist and my wrist was like right around five and a half inches so i went ahead and ordered up and i ordered six inch bracelets but that extra half inch really it, it makes a difference so i would definitely size it down it's like a close-up of it Sorry that there's like such a shadow. But once again, these are gold filled and they're super, super reflective and shiny and just gorgeous. I love super reflective jewelry when it just dazzles. I'm like, oh yes, this is wonderful. And they were each like pretty, pretty cheap. So I'm sorry, earlier I said that this necklace was $15. I messed up, it was 25. And the bracelets were each $15, so price check there okay so that is it for bracelets really quick i just wanted to add some bracelets to my life so i actually recently purchased these and i love them so now i am going to get into my earrings which i love earrings i love a good chunky gold hoop but i'm not gonna buy gold plated jennifer fisher hoops for close to 500 dollars because they're that's no don't do that please don't do that please don't buy jennifer fisher hoops i'm sorry Gold plated hoops do not need to cost that much. So all of my hoops, with the exception of one pair that I'm gonna show you, are from Bacchi Store or Bocci Store. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's B-A-C-C-I Store. 
Um, it's based out of Hong Kong and they have super cute gold plated earrings and I really like them. So I have been mentioning that I wear gold filled jewelry, but for earrings, I don't really want to pay that extra price for gold filled because earrings aren't really touching your skin constantly. So gold plated holds up a lot better on earrings than it does on necklaces. So personally, I just buy gold plated hoops and I find that they hold up well enough. So I have three of like basically the same pair. So I have these first hoops and in the videos I took of them, for some reason they look a little bit silvery. They're not, they're definitely gold. Yeah, I don't know why they looked like that, so sorry. But anyways, these are little like tube gold hoops. So cute, so this is the smallest size that I have. It is like a little bit bigger than like a quarter. Um, so really cute, classic little, Jennifer Fisher-esque without being $500. And then I have the next size up, which is just a little bit bigger. Really like her. She's the same tube size, but a little bit more of a substantial hoop, which can be really cute. I really like those for like dates. And then if I'm going out, these are the hoops. Okay, so these are really big and I really like them. They're not quite as thick as the other two. They're pretty much just as thick, but not quite. But they are, oh, but they are a lot bigger and I'm obsessed with them. When my hoops get like this big, I don't like them to be super, super, super chunky, but I do still want a, a little bit of chunk. It's gotta have like a mid-range chunk. So these are a really good option. So these are the little baby $6 hoops. You can't see them right now, but you'll see them in the close-up. You need a pair of tiny hoops, whether you actually wear them that much or not. I just feel as though little tiny hoops like this will never go out of style. When you're 35 years old one day, you're gonna be like, I'm glad I have these little tiny hoops. I can wear these to any event. I can wear these to work. I can wear these to graduations. I can wear these to weddings. You can't wear a big chunky hoop to any event. But you can wear this little dainty hoop to any event. This is this is the type of hoop I would invest a, in it, like a solid gold pair. Don't currently have the funds for that, but these are unessential and I feel like they will never go out of style. Last two from that Baki store. Um, first I have these chunky little numbers. So these are a smaller swirl chunk little guys. I don't know how to like describe these, but I will put like the names of everything. And these are similar to the ones that I'm wearing right now, but these have a bit of a twist to them, but they're more of like a classic twist and they are somewhat small, really cute. Um, kind of have like an 80s, 90s feel to them really really like these and then for even more of a statement i have on the ones that i'm currently wearing which are almost like twistier they're a less uniform twist they're more like uh, there's like an extra twist in there i don't really know how else to describe it but yeah i really have been obsessed with these i've been wearing these ones specifically a lot lately and i just think they are so cute and they add so much to an outfit they again have like that 80s 90s feel to them but i really like that we're incorporating like texture into the chunky hoop trend i just think it's like so fun okay so the final pair i have are different for me so these are thin little hoops like um those classic ones i was talking about but they have a little like coin hanging off of them which is a fun trend that i've been playing around with lately i really like these because they were inexpensive they're from the house of monogram etsy that i talked about earlier so they were a little bit more expensive in terms of earrings and they are gold filled so that's cool and these are just like really boho and beachy not really super my style but I'm gonna get my second and third piercing pretty soon so I'm gonna be rocking those and it's gonna be really cute I'm, I'm so excited about it okay you guys so that is going to be it for this video I really hope that you enjoyed I really hope that you have some new jewelry you're gonna purchase because this jewelry is like reasonably priced it's not like an insane like amount which honestly like obviously things like Jennifer Fisher are just like so overpriced like I'm sorry I can go on and on about how Jennifer Fisher like is not worth the $500 price tag but even just like some of the more normal brands whether it be like 
Majuri or Lily Clasp, whatever it is, you can totally find the same stuff on Etsy for cheaper and better quality. But yeah, I think that is gonna be it from me. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be so great. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.